Hey guys, today we're doing another tutorial in Warcraft 3 editor. Today I will be showing you how to use the camera settings and how to like make the camera work when you're in uh, triggers it is, uh, trigger menu. So first off, I have just created a normal uh, environment here right now just really quick just to have uh, something to show with uh, the uh, camera. So first of all, you click M to come to the uh, camera palette and then you get some options here. Create camera, view select the camera and set camera to current view. Now, of course, I can only click on create camera because there are no existing cameras anywhere. So if I click right here, then this camera gets up right here. And if I try to move away and click, and I have selected the camera one, and I click view select the camera, it takes me automatically back to where uh, I set my camera to be. Um, now, also, if I press enter now, while I have this uh, selected, I get up a big, big menu with a lot of stuff. First of all, I can change the name to something. I can just take cam, cam one if I want to, and then I get a lot of other stuff here. Now, of course, I'm not the most experienced, and I'm just going to show you like the basic. So, first of all, we have rotation. I think you can imagine yourself what it is. So, if I just take it to 200, then the camera s switches over, and I press reselect the camera, and it takes me over there. And it's the same if I take it lower to 50, I get more to this side of uh, the camera settings. If I go to enter again, and I go to angle of attack, AO AOE, not the A, not the E, but A. And I set it to, we could take it to 350. The camera goes longer down, as you might see, so if I click, if you select the camera, I get like longer down with the camera. I don't know how the correct word for it, but and it's the same if I take it to like just 300. It takes me longer up in the air, like a sea from the sky. Now I want to, if I want to go like back to how the camera was originally, I can press C, and then I'm back to normal. But I'm limited what I can do. I can't scale up or anything. So I create a camera here. And then I press C again, then it takes me back to the last camera settings I was at. And then I can go to camera 2. I can also double, just click with the left mouse uh, button to come to the cameras as well, as you know. And then I can do it freely again as I want to. Now, if I delete both, I'm going to show you a little bit easier way to doing stuff. This at least works on my computer. So, if I hold down control, and I use my uh, right mouse uh, button, hold it in. Then I can move freely as I want uh, with the camera. So I'm gonna just make something really quick here. Like I want the camera to start here, and then I want it to move like down like this, but a little more over here, maybe a little bit zoomed in. I just zoomed in with the mouse wheel right there, and bam, another camera. And I could also make if I just wanna make it go longer out like that. So now I have three cameras, and I'm going to show you a little bit uh, in, with the triggers in this. Of course, I'm going to have a unit move around, so I'm just going to create some uh, just uh, just a few quick uh, region point here because I wanted to move. So of course, we open the, the trigger menu, we just delete what is already in there, and I o and I just create a folder called camera tutorial, and then I just take intro because it's going to be the intro and of course you know, probably know how to do this but uh, map installation and I'm going to have it in cinematic mode so I'm just going to quickly do that so I have that then I go to camera and I get apply the first option to land on is apply camera object timed so apply camera object for player one and over zero seconds of course this is marked red so I have to fill something in and the um, Variables I get over here is the cameras I've created camera one two and three and they will be uh, Named differently if you have renamed them of course So I'm gonna start at camera one of course obviously uh, Like that of for player one. We are player red in this case So we're gonna have like that and over zero seconds and this I'm just gonna have it at zero because I don't want it to move from wherever my camera starts uh, When the game begins to over there, so it will begin immediately right here then I go back to camera. Then I go back to uh, cinematic again, because I'm just I forgot I want to do that. I would just want a nice fade in over five seconds, and then I just copy this camera settings here, uh, and click enter to get into it, 
and then I want my camera to go to uh, number two. Now, if I left it like this, it would automatically move to the next camera just as the game starts. Uh, so we have to do a few things. First of all, I want the camera to move slowly from camera one to camera two by putting on a number in here. So if I take 10 seconds, it will take 10, 10 seconds to move from camera one to camera two. But of course, I don't want that to happen in the right as we start. I want to wait at least three, no, yeah, two seconds. We'll just take two seconds. It's not too much about to worry about now. We're just showing here. And then it's gonna, you know, move. And of course, uh, in this case, I want to have my unit come out of cave. So I'm just gonna like make him invincible for the time being. And as it begins to move here, I'm just gonna have like three seconds in here. Then I want my, sorry. <coughs> Then I want my unit to unhide, unhide my paladin. I'm just gonna do. This is not not important at all. Just to know, this is just for like how to make it look cool now with this cinematic here. Uh, and then I'm gonna, of course, gonna have him move towards uh, the the region point I just created a little bit earlier ago. So paladin move to center of playable area and over to this region right here. Now, of course, we know that. From camera 1 to camera 10, it will take 10 seconds to go like this. But, I don't want to wait all those 10 seconds. I have set it to 10 seconds because of the speed. But, if I wait 3 seconds, then the paladin will get um, unhidden, of course. And then I can, I'm copying the camera again. And then I take it to camera 3. And, of course, it says 10 seconds here. But, I'm going to actually take it to 15, just to make it last a little bit longer. The smoothness go... Get the, or the camera move slow, not too fast. That's what I want to do here. So uh, I'm also going to show you more things, but first we're just going to take a look quickly in Warcraft Editor on how this looks. So just be right back. Okay, now we're at our loading screen. I'm going to see if our product uh, works uh, just as I wanted. And it kind of did. I don't know what happened there. I have to find out. But yeah, my camera went from 1 to 2. And then it's quickly changed to camera 3, just as I wanted. And here we have sky popping up, I'm going to try to remove that. But uh, we see the camera move slowly over there. But now, I'm going to show you some other settings with the camera editor thing, you know, camera thingy. So hold on. And we're back here in the editor. And I realized what we had done wrong. We have to take the camera 1 in the beginning, because I just, I have completely forgot that. Camera 1 in the beginning. Because we want the camera to start there. I mean, it, we waited two seconds before it started there, which kind of messed things a little bit up. But anyway, we are just going to take this enable, no, no, intality. So it doesn't, like, it won't start now when we do this. So I'm just going to create a new one and follow hero. Okay. We create that. And I will do the exact same things almost as I did. I will start with map inst installation. I will take it in cinematic mode as uh, normal here but we're going to do a little bit change with the camera so I'm going to go to your camera settings I'm also going to find the where is it lock camera to targeted unit okay so lock camera target for player one that will be me since I like I'm player one to trigger unit triggering units which will be my paladin in this case and I'm not going to take uh, go into one of these so, and then I also want my unit to start moving somewhere. And of course, I have a region point, uh, or the paladin, to region, like that. Of course, I'm just going to uh, make my region a little bit longer away, just so I have, a, just to have a little more to go on. And also, I'm going to show you how to make your camera shake. So we go back to camera settings, and... You see here, shake camera, okay? Shake uh, the camera for player one with magnitude of three. We're gonna keep it at three, but if you want like more shakiness, uh, then you take a longer up, of course. I think the maximum was 10, I don't know. Uh, like that. Now, the lock camera thing, the camera will be locked on my unit. It will follow my unit. Uh, the camera will follow my unit um, as I ordered it to go towards the region point. So we're gonna uh, quickly test this out as well in the uh, uh, Warcraft 3, so just hold on. Alright, we're back on the low loading screen and we're gonna find out right now. 
Yes, we see the camera follows my units and the camera is shaking slightly. You see, but of course I can ma increase this, of course. Uh, yeah, so that was some simple things you can do in the with the camera in uh, the uh, trigger edition. Edit no, trigger editor, not edition. What am I talking about? So, thank you for watching and I hope you learned something. If I did something wrong with this tutorial and or made something unclear to you, please tell me in the comments and also, also suggest what I should do next for a Warcraft 3 tutorial. So thank you for watching and see ya!